Please works. Am I in the center? What's up everyone? Yes. I know, I know, I know. I haven't been doing a very good job um, of keeping up with this project and posting videos this summer. To be honest, I've just been kind of lazy. Uh, just, just enjoying not having any deadlines or having to worry about much of anything. Like I even went to Hawaii this summer uh, and uh, I had this like extravagant idea of showing everyone, oh, how do you get in and out of the airplane? How do they, how do they uh, get you from the chair into the seat and vice versa? But I'm an idiot, I just, I just, I fucking, I didn't do it. Um, so that's on my end, but uh, I guess what's kind of cool still, you know, the channel is still serving its original purpose, um, you know, whether that's like a laugh or um, any kind of motivation or, um, you know, helping someone in any type of way, um, I think, that's still pretty cool to me, even though I haven't been posting, you know, I've been seeing, uh, I've been getting a lot of good feedback still, uh, to this day, even about the old videos, uh, which, you know, that makes me happy. So even though I'm not posting, still watch some other stuff. I guess there's some value in there. Um, so cool. Uh, but today's video or this one, if you haven't read the, uh, the title is all about, um, this new thing that Microsoft is, uh, releasing next month. Uh, the Xbox Adaptive Controller. Uh, fortunately for me, I've had my hands on one since uh, April or May. Uh, I have a good friend that works at Xbox and another teacher friend that kind of hooked me up with the uh, Xbox inclusive team. Um, and when I went and visited, they sent me home with one. I even had to sign like a contract and like non-disclosure. Hopefully I don't get sued now that I'm sharing this. Boom, this is it. Uh, this essentially, if I can hold it, uh, is like a normal controller, but kind of adapted for customization uh, for anyone uh, that has any, like hand dexterity, you know, uh, not issues, but doesn't have full hand dexterity, um, people who can't use certain limbs or have, uh, you know, a missing limb. Um, like I met Shaquille Griffin, who, uh, you know, the Seahawks player who has uh, one hand um, and he was kind of promoting that. But yeah, essentially it is, if I can grab this, like this original controller, boom, uh, but all kind of laid out in a flat rectangular um, device. Also, as a side note, like they're not sponsoring me to like say this kind of stuff um, or like promote it, but Microsoft, if you are watching Xbox, Hook your boy up, you guys know what to do. So what's cool about it is if you can see, if I can get out of focus, let me put this in focus. Okay, so you can see in the back, like every single button has like a port, right? Like the X button, X button, the B button, whatever, right? Um, so you can kind of put any kind of like a three millimeter button, like a sip and puff or like a joystick or a trigger. Uh, to make it easier for you to like press that button uh, like for me like when I hold the controller uh, I can't like pull or click the trigger um, so like right trigger or left trigger uh, is like I can't use it during the game which is very frustrating especially because I only play one game and that's Madden and you got to sprint is right trigger in this year's Madden um, so but, but there's ways around it now because you can use this adaptive controller um, and this is a this is terrible okay right here yeah, so this is a bite, bite pad, bite something, I don't know. But anyway, like if I put this end, the three, frick, so you can see how bad my hands are. Um, if you, come on. If you put this end, right, this is like a three millimeter jack, you put this in to say the right trigger, right? Every time I bite down, on this, right, the right trigger will go. What's really cool too is it can act as like one controller. So you can have, it's called Copilot, and I'll show, uh, I'm gonna demo this all out uh, here in a second once I cut this video, but you can cut, you can cut, fuck. You can take this controller and the Xbox adapter controller and it can be like set as one controller. So you can use all the buttons on this um, and while at the same time have this on the side um, and you know use the trigger like I do. So there's all sorts of like flexibility and all sorts of customization that people can do based on their need. And I think Xbox, you know, really works with the community 
um, in terms of developing this so that that customization was there. Uh, and hopefully other systems follow like PlayStation and, and Nintendo uh, because it just opens the doors uh, to a whole another set of, of people who are, you know, wanting to still game and play and things like that. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna figure it out. I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this. Uh, I'll probably have to use my phone too. Um, but I'm gonna kind of demo and kind of show how I uh, use this adaptive controller. Um, and I, there might be a better way to do it, uh, but this is just the way I'm kind of figuring it out. Uh, obviously because it hasn't been released yet. And, uh, hopefully this can give people some head start and maybe Xbox can sponsor me and send me, other, some, send me some more free stuff. All right, give me a second. I think we might be okay. Okay. All right, so this took forever to set up. Hopefully this works. I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, but I think when I do play, uh, this is the, obviously the Xbox adaptive controller and the normal one. Um, I think what you need to do first when you like, set this up, uh, you gotta go to your settings. Hopefully you can see, I'm gonna put these in like two different side-by-side uh, -side screens. Oh, that's, hopefully it'll work. But anyway, you go to, you know, press the middle button, you wanna go to your settings, uh, and then go to like connecting devices here, and then device and accessories. And to make it so that this controller and this controller are like the same, so it's just like one controller or co-pilot, you wanna make sure that co-pilot is on, yeah? So right now, uh, the Xbox controller is off, so let me turn it on. And then you can see that it's there. Um, and I think right now I already have it as a co-pilot, um, but to make sure that it's on, you just go to settings, or that, that, uh, that dot there, and then go to turn on co-pilot, um, just to make sure that it's on. Uh, but that's basically it. So let me go back, uh, and back again. Um, and then once it's all set up, uh, you hear free to play the game. So let's just start this up. Uh, this is the new Madden. Oh, come on, man. Um, and then of course, what I do is I, uh, I use this for the right trigger, so I'm gonna put it in my mouth. And I, I suck at this game now. I used to be pretty good, but now I'm not very really good. It's terrible. Um, put this here. Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. So again, I have this uh, like bite plate uh, attached to the right trigger. So every time I bite this, the right trigger will go. You can see that it's like dark now because it took me forever to figure out how to do this. Oh well. It is what it is, right? <laughs> Ooh, you don't want it. You don't want it, computer. Ooh, Bruce Urban. I like it, Bruce Urban. Oh. All right, I give up. I don't play this shit anymore. <laughs> As you can see, I'm not very good anymore. Um, but hopefully this gives you an idea of kind of how someone is able to play um, you know, without having to hold the controller in a traditional way. Um, I'm still gonna mess with this. Hopefully this turns out well. I don't know. Um, just wanna give people a visual. Gosh, I can't believe I ended on an interception. That's gonna make me mad. Anyway, uh, until next time, I think uh, I'm gonna quit and try again. Okay, bye, I'm out. This is Kate, bye. What's a phone call? Okay, I'm out. Quit. Huh.